In our last video, we went over the mean value theme. We say that if f is a function that satisfies these two hypotheses, number one, f is continuous on this closed interval a to b, number two, f is differentiable on this open interval a to b, then there is a number c in this open interval a to b such that f prime of c is equal to this quotient. If we multiply both sides by b minus a, we got this equation, which is the same equation you see here on this bridge. This photo was taken in Beijing, the capital of China. In 2008, the government of Beijing celebrated the mean value theme and put it on the bridge. Now imagine that the mean value theme is celebrated here and it is put it on the Bay Bridge. <laughs> the main significance of the mean value theme is that it enables us to obtain information about a function from information about its derivative. Here's one example. Suppose that f0 is equal to negative 3, and f prime of x is less than or equal to 5 for all values of x. How large can f2 possibly be? So here's a diagram. Think about this as the x-axis. f0 is equal to negative 3. f prime of x is less than or equal to 5 for all x. We want to know how large this f2 can possibly be. Think about 0 and 2 as the two endpoints of a closed interval. We know the function value at this end, and we want to know the function value at the other end. We also know the derivative of the function. So this, we might, ask, we might use the mean value theme to solve this problem. Now, in order to use the mean value theme, the function f has to be differentiable on the open interval 0 to 2 and continuous on the closed interval 0 to 2. Since we have f prime of x is less than we could find for all x, and that indicates that f prime of x exists for all real number. And so the function f is differentiable for all x. Since differentiability implies continuity, the function f is also continuous for all x. Now since the function f is differentiable and continuous for all x, it satisfies the two hypotheses of the mean value theme, so we can apply the mean value theme. In this case, we have a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 2. And we have f2 minus f0 equal to f prime of c times the quantity of 2 minus 0. Where c over here is number between 0 and 2. And we are trying to find how large this f2 can possibly be. We know f0 and we also know the duality of the function. So let's try to isolate this f2 here. So we got f2 is equal to f0 plus f prime of c times 2. We know that f0 is equal to negative 3 and f prime of c is less than or equal to 5 because it says that f prime of x is less than or equal to 5 for all x. So f2 is less than or equal to negative 3 plus 5 times 2, which is equal to 7. So by the mean value theme, the largest possible value for f2, it is 7. <laughs>